Okono AI I just concluded their event and they launched their latest flagship model called GPT 4.0. And trust me when I say Open AI has just smashed the ceilings with the possibilities of AI. This AI model is not capable of voice and vision, but not in the way you're thinking. During the demo, one thing I noticed is how fast this model is able to respond, unlike the previous version, where it takes up to a second or three seconds to respond. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm Mark. How are you? Oh, Mark. One thing I also observe is that you don't have to wait for it to stop speaking because you cannot interrupt it. Not named Byte. Byte was a curious robot, always I exploring. I started this story, but I want a little bit more emotion in your voice, a little bit more drama. And this new model picks up on emotion and it has the ability to perform or react according to your emotion. And students are definitely going to love this because one of the new features of GPT-40 is vision and it can assist students with assignments and classwork. Oh, okay. Let me boot up ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hello there. How's it going? It's going really well. Today, I'd really like your help solving a math problem. I'm all ears. What math problem can I help you tackle today? So I'm going to write down a linear equation on a sheet of paper, and I'll show you. And then I'd love your help working me through it. But importantly, don't tell me the solution. Just help give me hints along the way. So, ChatGPT, what equation did I write down there? Ah, I see it now. You wrote down 3x plus 1 equals 4. Yep, Let's exactly. So what's the first step I should take to try to solve this? The first step is to get all the terms with x on one side and the constants on the other side. So what do you think we should do with that plus 1? The desktop version can also assist in coding, which developers or computer science students are really going to find useful. So I'm going to open the ChatGPT desktop app, like Mira was talking about before. Okay, and to give a bit of background on what's going on, so here we have um, a computer, and on the screen we have some code, and then the ChatGPT voice app is on the right. So ChatGPT will be able to hear me, but it can't see anything on the screen. So I'm going to highlight the code, command C it, and then that will send it to ChatGPT, and then I'm going to talk about the code to ChatGPT. Hey, ChatGPT. Hey there, how's it going? Yeah, it's going really well. I was wondering if you could help me with uh, a coding problem today. Of course, I'd love to help you out. What's the coding problem you're dealing with? OK, I'm going to share with you some code. One second. Sure thing. Take your time. OK, so I just shared some code with you. Could you give me a really brief one sentence description of what's going on in the code? This code fetches daily weather data for a specific location and time period, smooths the temperature data using a rolling average, annotates a significant weather event on the resulting plot, and then displays the plot with the average, minimum, and maximum temperatures over the year. Because it has a new vision feature, it can also help in analyzing a graph. And during the demo, you also tried using GPT-40 for translation. Hey, ChatGPT, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for asking. How about you? How's cool. your day going? I'm uh, doing great. So I would like you to function as a translator. I have a friend here who only speaks Italian, and I only speak English. And uh, every time you hear English, I want you to translate it to Italian. And if you hear Italian, I want you to translate it back to English. Is that good? Perfetto. <laughs> Mark, io mi chiedo se le balene potessero parlare, cosa ci direbbero? Mike, she wonders if whales could talk, what would they tell us? Um, they might ask, uh, how do we solve linear equations? Potrebbero chiederci... Come risolviamo le equazioni limiari? <laughs> Sicuramente sì. <laughs> Certainly yes. Great. <laughs> Looks like it works. <laughs> I think GPT-4 is a very impressive upgrade from GPT-4. And they said they're going to be rolling out this feature around like next week. And hopefully I receive it early so I can personally try out and test the features that GPT-4 has to offer. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.